Well, I feel like the, the issue that really cracked this open, uh, the reason the general public might have heard of the so-called replication crisis is this idea that there were some findings in the field of Alzheimer's research that were false, that, but they were wrong potentially for the wrong reasons. Uh, as a scientist, you learn it's okay to be wrong for the right reasons, meaning your measurement tool was inaccurate, but it was the best you had at the time and you thought it was accurate, you know, but better tool comes along, you get a different measurement, new result. I guess you were wrong for the right reasons, but you're not fudging data, you're not hiding data. Th there is this idea that in the field of Alzheimer's research that somebody might have fudged data, made up data, and that the field kind of went along with it. That's not my understanding of what happened. My understanding is that somebody fudged data and then nobody went back to check the primary data in that paper. And as a consequence, many years down the line, a number of subsequent findings were nested on a false finding and the whole thing tumbled like a house of cards, more or less. The process you just described is the, re is the replication process playing itself out.